Hello, um, this is me, Corporal Lork. Um, it's been a while since I've done any uh, game engine videos, but, 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 but as you may have noticed, um, I'm using a different engine, and I've only recently found out about this engine, and this engine is the CryEngine 3, and that was the engine used to make Crisis 2. So, I'm quite happy about that, um, because I loved Crisis 2, um, I got it before I did. I started recording things, so there's no gameplay of that, but um, also I'd like to say my views and subscribers has dramatically risen in the past few days, and that is thanks to the Together to the Top um, campaign by Athene, so a shout out to him, um, but you may have noticed that I have been hinting to another channel, um, Zombie Gaming. Now, me and a group of my friends are actually going to be migra mi migrating, migrating all of our YouTube accounts to uh, that account, and we're gonna—it's gonna be our hub of uh, gaming videos, basically. So, if you want to keep your eyes on that channel. Um, there'll be videos coming on it soon, special um, weekly videos got some good ideas for them so yeah keep an eye on that and uh, we'll t let you know when it's ready and you can migrate your subs so anyway down to the engine so it's just gonna pause here to see the video size and then I'll continue yep hello uh, back just checking the video size and it was a very good size Um, I'm not using fraps to record this since I had a bit of trouble getting it to record the whole of uh, the screen so I'm using um, NHC debut video capture software so I'm going to get down to it um, I've, since I haven't known the engine for that long uh, what I'm going to do is instead of going into details about how to create specific things and all these other bits of stuff I am going to go show a couple of the things that um, the engine comes with for example, one of the maps it comes with, um, and then I'm going to show um, what I can transport from UDK to the CryEngine 3, my knowledge that I can take, um, basically like the terrain editing and placing objects and things like that. So basically, I'm going to try and fit it into one or two videos, um, because if I make it too long, I'll never finish it, like I did with the UDK series, but I'm going to try and wrap that up soon. So anyway. Um, I have been messing around with it, so you'll see a couple of other files that you won't have. So uh, don't worry about that. So I'll go file, uh, open. Uh, it should take you automatically to where you install. Well, you don't you don't install the engine. You um, basically just extract it to wherever you want it to be. I put it in um, my own folder called Quiet Engine Three in Program Files, um, but that's up to you. So I've got some maps that I tried making myself um, but yeah I'm gonna forest is the one that you will have I think and all this stuff apart from lighting and I think another one objects maybe I can't remember but you won't have because I, I was experimenting with um, exporting things so what you'll have is two folders one of them will be lighting and a, a, a file called the cry, .cry file, and the .cry file is the file that, um, <coughs> excuse me, is the file that the CryEngine 3 um, saves its levels as. So, we, you select that and open it. Now this is a, a really nice map that the people over at Crytek have developed um, specifically <coughs> for this uh, engine SDK. So, as you can see, um, it comes with the same fantastic graphics as you get with Crisis 2, um, which is one of the most highly acclaimed graphic games ever. So, at the moment, you can see the graphics are good, but if your computer is slower, you can go to config spec, low, medium, or high. If I was on high, because uh, I'm using the different recording software, um, it wouldn't be as uh, smooth. So I'm on medium at the moment, and especially for editing, um, you don't really need fantastic graphics. So 
I'm going to jump straight into the game. And to do that, you press Control G. And as you can see, uh, I'm going to talk louder over the music because it's going to be quite loud. Um, but yeah, you're basically your guy with a um, some sort of uh, rifle, machine gun thing. So yeah, you you walk around. It's the same controls as normal. Um, shift to run. Uh, you have binoculars. You have a rocket launcher, and you have just you don't have just normal hands. And here it's a it says actually says surface type assign no surface type assign something here. That's basically because it hasn't been a, uh, the developers haven't assigned anything to that, so nothing to worry about. So if you're actually playing it in the full game, that wouldn't matter. So F, you can open doors go up wherever you want. It's got the same uh, engine as Crisis 2 obviously because it is the engine that made it. Um, yeah it's just when I tried it I was just extremely amazed that a, a, a game company had released something as graphically fantastic and stunning and as versatile and easy to use free. I mean, it's. I had to go at using the Unity engine, and I know a lot of people like using that, but I just found it absolutely horrible in the way of um, user design. So I then tried out UDK, as you know, and on UDK, on UDK I just fell in love with its system because it's so simple to use. Now, I think the, the guys at Crytek have really taken that into account, and they've got out all the Mainly, most of the things you'll use mostly on the basic hot on the basic hot bar, but I have found a couple of things that I would I, I personally would use a lot um, were missing from where I would like to have them, and I'm not quite sure how you would go about personalising that. But anyway, um, I'm rambling on a bit about the engine uh, history, so I think I should probably get on to um, actually. Uh, what am I looking for? Actually, um, creating things within the engine. So, what I'll do is I will look at that. Look at that. Even maps all like the, the, the shattering and stuff. Anyway, um, what I will do is I will then jump out of this, and I will go in to a new level and we can start from there. But what, one feature I do like about this, they've kept the Crisis 2 tree thing, where if you shoot the tree, hopefully this is the right tree that will do it. Possibly not. Hopefully this one. No, anyway, on some trees, On some trees, you can just shoot them and they will fall apart. Um, I seem to have every tree I've attempted to shoot at hasn't fallen apart. But anyway, um, I assure you that is what happens and I love that feature of Crisis 2 and it's great on the engine. So, anyway, um, let's jump out of the game by pressing S and let's start, to start creating the thing. So, here we are, you, when you press S, you exit where your player was, and as you can see, the level is full of these uh, bop pi um, blah, 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 uh, these uh, blue boxes, and these basically, I think they are music, I haven't really explored these much, but as you can see, uh, it's actually, ah, here we are, you've got your objects, and you've got the shapes, and you've got your parameters of the shapes, it's basically defining an area. And it, it uh, inside the area, uh, it will contain the different effects and everything, and the sounds and things like this. So anyway, I select that. Uh, I think we, what we should do is I'm going to show how to create a basic uh, level, and yeah, I'm going to create a basic level. 
with like basically trees and things that you can instantly go around and you can shoot things. Okay then, so let's go to file, uh, new. Now I found I'm gonna make it really small. I make two fifty six to fifty six. Uh, okay. Now, oh, I need to actually give it a name. That would be a, a good idea. So let's call it YouTube Map. Okay. Uh, now what I found um, is that I'm not quite sure. It depends where you're saving the level because I've also no, uh, I've also. Oh, what's going on here? It should. Oh yeah. Okay. Don't worry. Um, what I found. Oh dear, that's not good. Well, I'll just stop the recording here and I'll, I'm not quite sure what's happened, so I'll be right back. Okay, uh, I'm back. Uh, I'm not quite sure what happened. Uh, I'm going to go into new, let's create another map. Uh, let's go uh, first level. Oh, level map. That would make it to 56 again. Hopefully, nothing will go wrong. Uh, there we are. Exactly, this is how it's meant to go. I'm not entirely sure what happened last time. As you can see, you've got an endless sea of water. Sea of water? Endless expanse of water. But, I bet you're thinking, great, I've got water, but where does my player go? So, if you've been watching my UDK tutorials, uh, they have a, a terrain painter essentially, and uh, the CryEngine has utilised that as well. So if you now click on terrain, which should be here by default, uh, you, it brings you up this uh, almost like map type thing, and you see you have a little brush, and it and it can also be imported into there, into there. But what I'm going to do, I'm just going to sync the radius because it can get very annoying. It doesn't always work, it like works one way and then the other way when you're going smaller and that way when you're going up, but I'm not quite sure why. But first, uh, height is a bit odd to change. Like UDK, you don't click one way or don't click the other way. Um, I'm going to go rise and lower, not flatten, and I'm going to raise it by one each time. So I'm going to just use this uh, on here first to get started to get a basic place. And you might to keep going over it to actually get something. I want to up it a little bit, maybe there we are. So you actually get something. And you may um, may find that, that this is not completely correct. So it's gonna go round and do some terrain painting. I'm not sure how great it would be. I'm um, just basically making an island and that's it. So you won't probably won't see it immediately in your view um port, so you might have to look around, but it should be near where your player camera is. So if we go over, we can see we've got a terrain. Now this terrain, it is fairly large. I mean, it's it the scale compared to UDK is marginally different. But I'm going to just go onto smooth, and I'm just going to smooth and some stuff out a bit like that. And yeah, I'm going to then flatten a little bit. Um, let's go to, I don't know, let's go to 9. And that just makes a little area here. I need to up it a little bit. Let's make it to 13. Can I make it any, need to adjust it very... 17, ah there you are. Just above the land, the water level even. Okay, now it's going to smooth, and it's just smoothing out this area here, so it's possible for the player to get up. There we are. So now, you can now close the terrain editor, and if you wanted, you go down to your level, Control G, and you would join the level. Now you can notice there's no footstep sounds, because that's, that is because you haven't assigned any, as you can see here, you've got no surface type. So there's it has no way to uh, attach a sound, or no way to attach any sort of um, dust being kicked up or things like that. So you can shoot, 
but you just get all these little placards coming up. So if we just uh, escape from that, we can then go on to add it a train. So I think I'm going to stop here, um, and I'm going to start another video, uh, which is going on to how to add the texture and terrain. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Uh, uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and goodbye.